Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to our video on installing and using the A5 Genome Assembly Pipeline created by the Eisen Lab at the UC Davis. This video assumes the following things. Firstly, that you meet the system requirements for A5, which is Linux 64-bit or Mac OS X 10.6 or later. Secondly, that you have Illumina data that you would like to assemble into a haploid genome. And thirdly, a basic familiarity with what genome assemblers do, although you don't need to know the technical details. Genome assembly entails a number of distinct steps, such as removing adapter sequences, error checking reads, creating contigs, creating scaffolds. Many of these are performed by different pieces of software, each of which has a number of input parameters that need to be optimized for a given data set. A5 simplifies all that by putting all of these together in one sequence and analyzing the data set itself in order to choose an optimum set of parameters for each piece of software. What this means is that you can take raw Illumina data and create a final assembly using A5 without having to have a PhD in computer science. To begin, let's download the A5 pipeline. Open any browser and just type A5 pipeline. Here it is, the first hit. Takes you straight to the README where you can read all the technical details if you're interested. And up here at the top, under Downloads, there are two versions available. There's the Linux and the Mac OS version. We'll download the Mac version. Save the file. And we'll come back. Okay, so we've downloaded the compressed file. Here it is. Double click on a Mac and that will uncompress it. Let's go ahead and throw it out on the desktop just to make it a little easier to find. Now, A5 is a command line based program. So on a Macintosh, you need to run it from the terminal, which I have in my dock, but you can find under utilities otherwise. And to run A5, you don't really need to know Unix. Just follow the simple steps that I'm about to show you. So here you are at the command line. The directory that you're in is where all of the files outputted by the pipeline are going to run. So let's really quickly create a new folder on our desktop. We'll just call it test. And then let's go to that folder before we run the pipeline. And to move in Unix, you type CD. And I want to go to my desktop. Now I'm on my desktop. Then CD test. And now I'm inside the test folder. Now when I run the pipeline, this is where the output files will appear. So to run the pipeline, let's open this up. And you can see that the readme is here. Um, there's an example data set, Phi X, which is what we're going to assemble. And then there's the, all of the various software components of the pipeline. All we need right now is the A5 pipeline. And you just drag and drop into the terminal. That's the program itself. Now we need to give it two input files. And these are the two different paired in read files. So let's go back to our example. And here's paired in one and paired in two. All that remains is to give a name. So let's just call it test. That's what the output files would be called. Click return and we're running a genome assembly and we'll be back when it's finished. All right, on my old junkie Mac, that took about two minutes. It says right here that the final assembly is found in this file, test final scaffolds FASTA. Let's take a look in our test folder. 
There it is. Let's open it up. And here we go. This says that we have one scaffold of size 5470. There's a sequence right there. Congratulations, you've assembled the PhiX bacteriophage genome. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and in future videos we'll talk in a little more detail about some of the capabilities of AFI.